Everybody got it all day, every day. It's all crazy, bro. All crazy. We're not even mad to this game right quick, bro. What's your nationality? Mine? Yeah. White and black. Okay, what? White and black. What's your, what, what's your father? What was your father? Your father, your father was black? So then, you would be from the tribe of Jews. Now, you said you had more than 120 seconds for the Most High, right? Now, won't you want to know what the Most High called you? Because he certainly called you a black and a white man. <laughs> Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, I, I, and I can look at you, I mean, I, I ain't the best with colors, but I know you ain't the color of your shirt. <laughs> you right. Uh, uh. Now, when we speak of nationality, we, when, when, you, when we speak of nationality, that means that you can go back to your nation, right? Where's the nation of black? Uh, Excuse me, brother. Uh, Y'all come to me the word of God? Uh, uh, can you look on the map and find black in no. Africa? No. What's the language of black? <laughs> Man, you see what I'm saying? There you go. There you go. And what if I showed, what if I told you, and we showed you through the Bible your DNA? Would you believe? It? You believe in the Bible? I do. Okay then. Would you believe your DNA if it was in the Bible? If we can show you. Would you believe? It? Then we can show you that you're from the tribe of Israel, from the nation of Israel, from the tribe of Judah. Would you stop calling yourself black white man? I'll try. You'll try. I'll try. When you, once again, when you want to call yourself what God called you? Uh, right? Are you familiar with the story of Moses? A little bit. A little bit? Well, we're going we to hit you right quick. We're going to break it down real quick. Like, it ain't going to take long. Give it Deuteronomy 1 and 1. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. This is the book right quick, brother. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who is Moses, who is Moses speaking to right here? All of Israel. Con, there you go. There you go. So now we are to establish the context. Hey, Moses is speaking to the Israelites right here. Right? Well, yeah, 2815. Uh -huh. Bring it out. 2815. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Now, is the curse a good thing or a bad thing? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah. Curse is a bad thing, right? Bad, right. Okay, so Moses just said that God's people were going to be cursed. Bad things were going to happen to them if they didn't listen to God's word. Right. Now, what we're going to do to show you that you're really God's chosen people and not anybody else, we're going to imagine the other nations standing up in the line right now. Right. Every other nation. God made 18 nations of people. So everybody's standing up right now. Now, when we start going through these curses, if that curse don't apply to them, they got to sit down. Uh, All right? That's cool? We, we can get with that? All right, then let's give me 2 uh, 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Who's living in the projects right now? Talk to the king. Who's living? Hey, right. who's getting gunned down in the streets right now? We are. Go. Okay, so you just told me that everybody else got to sit down. Already. That's right. Already. We don't see the so-called white man or Chinese man marching in the street. Chinese telling the police, oh, please stop shooting us for nothing. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to pay less. And they're not going buy new shoes so they can walk up and down the damn street marching and singing. Those are our people that's doing that. Go. Keep going. And curse shall thou be in the go. field. And curse shall thou be in the field. What, what, what am I sign that? There you go right there. Who worked the cotton field? Who's getting their back beat in? Working from sundown to sundown. That was us. And not only that, the work field. Last to get hired, but you the first to get fired. What? You know what I'm saying? Hey, sister, come on, sisters. Y'all go hit the hey, word sister, of the Lord. Got, Two minutes of the word of the Lord, sisters. Give me 17 right quick. Finally. That's too cute. 17. Like, curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Now, when you say basket, he's not talking about a literal basket that's woven with dang on uh, yarn or whatever they make baskets out of. He's not talking about that. The Hebrew word for that means financial stability. And we always talking about, oh, man, I got to get a part-time job. Oh. oh, man, I got to work some overtime. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Financial stability is gone. It's shot. Curse that I beat our store. Oh. Oh. When you left your hometown, Uncle Joe had a damn store. Oh. Oh. When you came back five years later, the store closed down, glass broke all up in it, spider webs and trees growing up in it now. We can't keep nothing. You know what I'm saying? How many nations left standing up? Oh, we're gonna see if we gonna see if they can get with some of these other uh, curses. Give me 32. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. 
and there shall be no might in thine hand. When we got here off that slave ship, put up on the oxen block, and you saw your little Junior being sold to damn Master Williams Plantation, and you look, man, I wish I could show do so, man. I don't want to see my son go nowhere. But with no might in your hand, uh, didn't that happen to our people? Yeah. Even now, you walking in the store, and little Junior get all disrespectful with you, you turn around, and you backhand him in the mouth, <laughs> and little Sally Sue done seen you, she done called CPS on you, now they coming to get your child. Right. And you can't do nothing about it. Ain't that a plan, though? Right. Man. Give me 37. 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. And we know what astonishment is. Our brothers walking around with their pants up under their damn knees. Ain't even on their hips no more. When he got the car, he got to pull them down even more. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Right. Got to show on Facebook the fattest blunt that he can roll and smoke. <laughs> Our sisters, every time they get to a stoplight or go to the club, oh, I got a twerk. You got the car. Let me put on my Seymour clothes. Yep. I see more her than I see clothes. Yeah. That's an astonishment. You know why it's an astonishment? Because those other nations, they looking at us and know those are God's chosen people, man. Look how they acting, man. Yeah. This God's chosen people? This is what they're doing? You know what I'm saying? Keep going. An astonishment. A proverb. A proverb. If you want to hide something from a black man, put it in the book. That's one, that, that's one of the biggest disgrace. That, that's an insult, though. That nigga ain't gonna read. That's what they saying. He ain't gonna read. Yeah. The truth right here in this Bible, and we don't even read that. What? Keep going. And a byword. A byword. You know what a byword is, brother? I'm a black and white man. <laughs> I'm an Afro-American. Right. I'm colored. I'm everything but what God called me. That's a byword. Right. These are curses that the most I placed on us. You know what I'm saying? Give me 46. 46? We're going to say the killer for last. Uh, We're going to see how many of them be left standing. Keep going. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. These curses are going to be upon God's people for a sign and for a wonder. It, meaning you're going to hear these things and you're going to be able to identify with it. Uh, Keep going. And upon thy seat forever. How long? Forever. forever. Now when my son comes. Forever. forever. Now when Paul come out. Forever. forever. Keep going. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Because we chose not to serve God with gladness of heart. You know how we get. You ask a damn black, a so-called black man to do something. Man, golly. Let me go on and do it then. We ain't glad to do nothing. And we should be elated. Turning back with to serve the most how to do what he say. Oh man, let me keep the commandments. I don't want God to get mad at me. Same thing our forefathers were doing. That's how you know we the people of this Bible. Right. Keep on. For the abundance of all things. Uh huh. Because thou servest like it. Therefore shalt thou serve thine That's enemies. Serve, serve thine enemies. enemies. Serve thine Remember enemies. There's a lot of in the Bible. Uh -huh. God chose the people. You gotta repent and keep the commandments. We your people, brother. Yeah. Right. yeah. You know who your enemy is? Yeah. I'm gonna show you who your right. enemy is. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Go to, go to six days. I'm just gonna say what the Bible says. You, you, you believe what the Bible says, right? Yeah. We're gonna see what the Bible says, who your enemy is. Then. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Now, you say you're familiar with the story of Moses. If he walked out of Israel, out of Egypt with the Israelites, why do they need a ship to go back in? Mm -hmm. let you know Egypt means something else. Hey, you know what I'm saying? There's a spiritual Egypt. Sus! Give me that. The book of Exodus, chapter right. 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Why are you trying to hold your dress down if you come out the house like that knowing the wind blowing? Keep going. Out of yeah, don't make like it. I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the house, out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Now Egypt means the house of bondage. So Moses told God's people, hey, if y'all keep doing what y'all doing, you don't want to listen to the, the Most High and serve him with gladness and heart, I'm going to send y'all back in the bondage again. That's right. But this time, you're going on ship. That's right. Uh, that was how many years ago? About 3,000 years ago? Uh, keep going. Uh, with ships, by the way, Rob, I speak unto thee. Thou that's shalt see it no more way. again. He said, how I say it's going to happen, that's exactly how it's going to happen. That's what Moses, if he say y'all going on ships and slavery, that's how you're going to go. That's right. Go ahead. And there. He shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto, unto your, your enemies. enemies. Now, when our forefathers got here to America, who were they sold to? Two men and sisters. The word of God. It's the word of God. Come on, brother. You know who we were sold to when we got here. Who, who was standing by the auction block saying, hey, I want that nigga right there? Who was that? Who? I can't hear you, brother. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, brother. 
All, all you doing is speaking God's word. Now you scared to, you scared no, to show God? No, okay then. So what the Bible said that's your enemy, right? Okay, now we're gonna go back to 47, 48. Go back there. Verse 48. Verse 48. That's my Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. Where you got your food from, brother? Where you get that chewing gum from? We're gonna start right there. Where you got the chewing gum from? Did you make that chewing gum yourself? Where you got it from? You don't know, you just find it on the ground and pick it up and start chewing it. Like, yeah, where you got it? Yeah. Where you got it? Where you got it? Where you got that chewing gum from, sister? The store? Who owns the store? Now, you know, it's easy. now it's easy. We, when y'all dinner, y'all gonna have another y'all had last night or last week. Where'd you get the food from? Huh? Now, what the Bible call him? There you go. Right, Keep right, going. Right. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, but the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst. And in thirst. You like you're going to be thirsty in a little while, and that one's going to make you thirsty. Where you going to get your water from? I don't care if you stop at one of these water fossils out here. Who put it up? <laughs> That's right. If you want right. some bottle of water, you got to go pay him. Get it out to fossil. Who you paying your water bill to? <laughs> Somebody can't tell me this Bible ain't real. That's right. Living right. word. Keep right. on. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. And you, I guess that's supposed to be a Colombian on your shirt. <laughs> but where you get them clothes from? There you go. The so-called yeah. white man. You ain't got to be scared. And you think with all that working we did in the cotton field, like my son said earlier, you would think they'd give you a free shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a free shirt of you. A free pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, some socks. God, at least he's so, you know what I'm saying? When he said, hey, you know, you're going to serve your enemy in one of all things. Keep going. God, in one of all things. In one of all things, your driver's license. Where do you get that from? God. Your miseducation, because you ain't get edu miseducated. God, like wake up, wake up. All them years we don't went to school. Grammar school, high school, even when you go to college, they never told you who you was according to the Bible. All right. right. That's a miseducation, brother. All right. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all we are apartment, house. Wait, 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 how you got it? The loan, how you got it? You know what I'm saying? Who made him You know what I mean? Now we're going to go back to 6 to 8, but we're going to slam these other nations down on the ground. They ain't got to sit down. We're going to slam them down to the ground with this one. Stop on the top of 6 to 8 again. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Get up! And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt sin no more again. And there he shall be sold unto your enemies. Unto our enemies. Go ahead. For born men. Slave men. And born women. Slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody has been able to buy us out of this yet. Well, I ain't going to say Martin King tried because he was leading us to the enemy. Malcolm X tried it. Marcus Garvey tried it. David made a move about Nat Turner, what he did. You see what happened. Do it in the black Messiah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. See, back in the day, if you was in slavery, I could come along and be like, what's your name, brother? Chris. Chris. I could see Chris. Hey, Chris is my cousin. I want to buy him out of slavery. I could redeem you out of that slavery. But the most I say, when y'all going this way, Ain't nobody gonna get you out. Right, right, right. Ain't no such thing as the Black Panther. Oh, we gonna get up some guns and <laughs> we finna go and just kill the white man. We gonna take over. Uh -huh. You think ain't nobody never thought about that? Mm. Have you seen it happen yet? Uh -huh. hey, so I'll let you know it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if a divine hand puts you in this situation, it's gonna take a divine hand to pull you out of this situation. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And think about it now. If we're here, because we chose not to serve God the right way and keep his commandments, I'm going to show you how we slap them in the face. Somebody give me on um, 1 John 5 and 3. Uh, but I'm going to show you something now. If God said, all I want y'all to do is keep my commandments, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to love y'all. You know, you're going to have everlasting life and all these good things. The so-called white man ain't promised your ass nothing. That's right. <laughs> but when you see that stop sign, you stop. Mm -hmm. That red light, you stop at that red light. Everything he done asked you to do, you put your seatbelt on. Now everything he done asked you to do, oh, oh, let me put this on. Oh, let me stop. We Don't break he... our neck to obey him. All right. He can't promise us nothing. Right. Don't the scripture say, don't, don't fear the man that can just take your life. Fear the one that can take your life and your yeah, spirit. That's right. Right. Last time I checked, can't no so-called white man take your spirit. That's, that's right. right. So why do we fear him like that? All right. 
We should be, like I said, we should be turning over damn back and flip to serve the most high. Uh. Happy to do it. Happy to know that we're his chosen people. Right. Because contrary to popular belief, I don't know what you've been taught, but you've probably been taught that God loves everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Jesus coming back to save everybody. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? I know you've been taught that. Well, how come you can't find that in the Bible nowhere? Y'all think you think? Oh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Nowhere in the Bible does it say God love everybody. Nowhere. Well, that's right. And right. I done read it from front to back more than one time. Huh? There's nowhere in there. Jesus ain't coming back to save everybody. Uh, Contrary to popular belief, he just coming back for these people on the side right here, brother. That's it. That's all he coming back for. Now, we don't went through the curse, so do you believe yourself to be a Hebrew Israel right now? Y'all believe that? Going through the curse, we just, showed, we just gave you your DNA. Can't no other nation say they went into slavery on ships but us. That's like That's so like Moses talking to us, he ain't talking to nobody else. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the next, you know, somebody give me Deuteronomy uh, 10 and 12 right quick. Cause you just found out, y'all just found out y'all Hebrew Israel. Like the sister and the brother already heard this, but now y'all finna hear this. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. No, and now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. No, to go to church on Sunday. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. Get down on my knees tonight and pray. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. Walk around out here and just look at people. To, to keep, keep the, the commandments, commandments of the Lord. Lord. Most I say, it's a requirement. When somebody say you required to do something, I mean, you got to do it, right? God said, y'all required to keep the commandments. Right. You required to fear me. Walking out my ways. Love me with all your heart. Y'all love God? Y'all love God? How do y'all show God y'all love him? But yeah, you cheat. <laughs> see, you already know. But see, you know, a lot of people say, I love God. And then we ask, well, how do you show God you love him? Well, you know. Huh? I don't believe that. It was, I remember an older woman, she told me, she said, you can pray all you want to, but that's not your highest form of showing him respect. Hey, it's like this. Right. Yeah, and, and this is how it is. The Most High is not going to come out of third heaven. He's not going to sit down and tell Chris what Chris needs to know. He left this for Chris. That's what he left. Any question you got, the answer is in this. We're going to show you how you love God according to the Bible. Not according to us. Because there's no book of fiction in the Bible. There's no book of elder what they call me in the Bible. I didn't write no Hey, book. brother. Give me that. Brother. First you got two minutes to the words of the Lord. To the first John. To the five. You got two minutes to the Bible. For this is the love of God. You hear this, that Chris? We, you got two minutes to the Bible. For this is the love of God. You hear the Bible. That we keep his commandments. Two minutes. His commandments are not grievous. Two minutes. He said my commandments are not hard to do. You, you know what some of those commandments you are? That I, you I you even before? feel like brothers and sisters find hard to do. You been the same? You know what a couple of them are? Top. Come on up, y'all. Let me give you a flyer real quick. Let me give you a flyer. See, the Mosai left dietary laws for his people. Certain things that you can and you can't eat. But our people, <laughs> oh, oh man, saying. I love my baby. I'm going to eat my ham. Right. So Uncle head. Willie, he got some ribs on the grill right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But what the Lord say about that? Somebody give me that in Leviticus, Leviticus 11 and 7. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Right up. the word. Stay on up here. Though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be covered with footed, uh -huh. yet he do him not to cut. He is unclean to you. What's that pig? He, he is unclean, unclean to you. you. You talking about bacon? He, he is unclean to you. For real? He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. You can't be eating that, brother. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm ask y'all. Y'all, you see food? Hey, brother. I got that sister. Now that's your wife, so permission to speak to you. You got two minutes. Two minutes. Now, sister, I know how I sister. I'm asking you. I know you know. You know. Keep the commandment. Hey, that's hey, that's our sister love crab. They got to have that crab bowl. I gotta go get my three dozen because they don't sell. Yeah, 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 they don't sell. Now you say you love God, and God said the only way you can show me that is keeping my commandments. If we showed you that God said don't eat these things, would y'all stop eating? Read that for the king. The book of Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Then shall ye eat of all that are in the water. Uh -huh. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the water, yeah, in the right. sea, and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. Now, the most I said, the only thing you can eat that come out the water 
you gotta have fins and scales. Fins and scales, bro. Last time I checked, cockroaches go to sea. They ain't got no fins and scales. Now, since I'm finna bring something home to you now, I know you done heard that you probably you all what you eat. Right? Now, if you look at the anatomy of a shrimp, it's the same as a cockroach. The same. And I know Chris ain't gonna let the sister go through the house and go out the door, catch us some roaches, put them in some crab oil, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna pay the sister, I'm gonna give you some garlic and butter eat these. I know the sister ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? We never asked ourselves, man, how come every time we go to the beach or to the water, they looking all around and murky? Because you're eating the filters out the water. These things were designed to clean the water. That's uh, right. Let me eat the boo boo. <laughs> let me eat the dead whale. You know what I'm saying? Let me eat these things, man, so I can keep the water clean, man. The most high, he put me here for this. He ain't put me here to feed y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's one commandment. So, hey, we ain't got to worry about that, right, sister? Chris, do not let her go home talking about, well, I done bought this dozen in the freezer. I'm going to eat these, then I'll be straight after that. No. You throw them away. Oh. Don't go give them to another Hebrew Israelite. Oh. Well, my sister, she don't believe the Bible, so I'm going to get a crab to her. <laughs> no, nah, you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, we're going to give y'all a couple of commandments, man. brother. Hey, I know if you notice the brothers. Everybody got these fringes on. That's a commandment by God. We don't want you to take my word for it. Give me number 15 and 30. What you got, King? The book of Numbers. Chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make the fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. How long? Throughout, throughout their, their generation. generation. Now, if you say bid them that they put uh, fringes on the borders of their garments throughout their generation, how long is that? I thought you had to make it. As long as we, thank you, as long as we reproduce them. Hey, I should need to have these, gar these fringes on their garments. Go ahead. Right. Throughout the generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. See that? <laughs> fringe can be in the color. But you gotta have that ribbon of blue. That's royalty right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got that's it. Oh. And it shall be unto you for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So when Chris forgets, or his wife forgets, you know what? You're gonna give me some crab. Oh, wait a minute. I got my friend is on. It's just for something. Oh yeah, this is why I can't be eating no crab. Ah, right. You know what I'm saying? So now if y'all be saying, well, we don't know where to get no friends from. I don't know where to get them things. Got the brother right here. As a matter of fact, he made these. Ah. You know what I'm saying? Him and his wife do the song. So y'all make sure y'all get his number before y'all leave, man. Because see, this is true love right here, what we're showing y'all right now, man. You're not going to let y'all walk by and not know who you are according to the Bible. That's right. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of brothers, man, if you don't see us trying to get their attention, they keep walking by. I'm good. You see what they fail to realize is, now just telling the sister and the brother, that's God that's pushing them by. You know what I'm saying? That should scare you if the Most High don't want you to hear his word. That means he done seen something inside of you. You know what? Don't even deal with that brother. Don't deal with that sister. I'm going to push them on by y'all. Don't waste your time on me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm glad you got that beard right there, bro. You know, that's a commandment right there, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going to show you. Yeah, yeah that, that's your bad. Ask somebody to get that in um, the Bible Dictionary. Get that in the Bible Dictionary, too. Somebody get that. They got one in my bag right there. We got to bring it out for the king, too. What you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 27. He shall not round the corners of your head. Uh huh. You can't, you can't make no balls upon your head. You know what I'm saying? You see, I got the little, well, you can't tell because my wife just buried my house. But I got the little donut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want to come in the middle. You know what I'm saying? Too many. I'm not going to cut out my hair like some of these. Too many. Books. Oh, man, my hair won't Come on, too many. Too many. That's all. You got it off with. Too many. Hear the words of the Lord. Neither shall they mark the corners of that beard. Come on, brother. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're here for you. You shall not make any in. cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Go ahead. No print any marks upon you. Now I say you can't make any cutters in your flesh for the dead. No print marks upon you. Now what's printing marks upon you? Dang. Second rule back to the Jake's the cool, man. Yeah. See, we didn't know this. 
We didn't know this before we got him. We didn't know this was a commandment against the Most High. We didn't know who you know you're not supposed to get tattooed. Uh -huh. That's some crap we picked up from the Egyptians, man. Ah, more bites. Captivity. I got beard too. I got beard. I got beard. No, no, you got oh, beard. No, 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 no. We're gonna show you some. This is the, this is the compact Bible dictionary. We're gonna show you what the definition of your beard is. The compact uh, Bible dictionary on uh, page 72. Beard. A badge of manly dignity. A badge of what? A, a badge, badge of manly, manly dignity. dignity. Go ahead. As a sign of mourning, it was a custom to pluck it out or to cut it off. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. Forbidden. You see that? Now, I know we probably give y'all some stuff like, damn, man, I ain't know that, man. Oh, man, oh, I didn't know that. You know what I'm saying? You familiar with the Sabbath day? Y'all familiar with the Sabbath day? You ever heard of the Sabbath day? You think I get a bigger dog? Excuse me, brother. All right. Hey, somebody give me that. Two minutes. Uh, who is that? Who that is? I, I don't want to get on them. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Look it out. Remember Cash the Sabbath clay. day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the Sabbath day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Now, now it's coming back to you. Now the Sabbath day actually starts. He said the seventh day starts when? He said the Sabbath is the seventh day. So when is the seventh day? Yeah. Now, I know you got to show me this, Chris. You got to show me the calendar where Sunday is the seventh day and Monday starts the first day. Ain't Sunday the first day <laughs> on the calendar? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, what you thinking of is, well, they be in church on Sunday. So that got to be the Sabbath day. No. They don't know what they doing. All uh, right. Thanks. That's why they end up on Sunday talking about, oh, this is the Sabbath day of the Lord. Right. When clearly it says the seventh day. Uh, I know they can count the seventh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How hard is that? One, two, three, four, five, seven. Oh, man. There you go. But actually, it starts Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Hey, buddy, you got two minutes. You see, we, we don't know. We've been so indoctrinated Let me get you a in this world. We think that the day starts at 12 or 1 midnight. Or when the sun comes up. If we say all answers will be found in the Bible, what does the Bible say about when the day starts? Look at that in Genesis 1 and 5. The book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was the first day. Read that again. And the evening and the morning was the first day. And the evening and the morning were the first day. He's clearly letting you know evening starts the day. You know what I'm saying? So, as this sun's starting to drop right now, we're going to go into the sun. It's not going to be at 12.01 midnight. It's not going to be tomorrow when the sun come up. When that sun go down today, today, it's Sunday. Come hear the words of life, brother. You know what I'm saying? Now. Come on, brother. Now, just right quick, now, I don't want you to be discouraged in that, you know, you find these things out and you like, you know, hey, the Lord's going to be mad at me. You know, I ain't know none of that stuff, man. Oh, golly, I've been doing all these wrong things. You know what I'm saying? Give me Acts 17 and 30. The book of Acts chapter 17 and verse 30. You no! Know, in the times of this ignorance, God weeped that, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Now, what God said at the time you didn't know any of these things, hey, man, I weeped that. I'm going to let you slide. But now, I'm commanding everybody, you and your wife now, to repent. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know how to repent, bro? Y'all know how to repent? Y'all know how to repent? How do y'all repent? I got to ask you a question. So we can't, we, we can't have no loopholes. We can't leave no stone unturned here. That's why I got to ask you a question. Well, how do you think we repent? Huh? What you say, bro? How do you repent? How do you think you repent? Now, y'all gonna hear the words of the Lord. Okay. Hey, King with the green shorts. Now, all the 